a thick forest, mist curling between ancient oaks, a haunting silence broken only by the crunch of leaves beneath a leather boot. In the shadows, warriors stand tall, blonde-haired, fierce-eyed, wielding iron swords with tribal pride. They are the ancient Germans, a people feared by the Roman Empire, yet whose origins have remained shrouded in total darkness. For centuries, historians speculated, were they born in the icy north? Migrants from the east? Or remnants of some forgotten super-tribe lost to time? Bones were found, burial sites unearthed, swords rusted, helmets dented, ornaments buried deep in soil that hadn't been touched for over 2,000 years. But no one could answer the burning question. Who were the ancient Germans really? Legends painted them as barbarians. Myths tied them to gods, but none could trace their blood. Until now. In 2024, a breakthrough. Hidden in a tooth fragment from a warrior's jawbone, scientists extracted something that would rewrite history. A complete strand of ancient DNA. The results were staggering. This wasn't just another European tribe. It was something far older, far stranger and far more connected to a forgotten chapter of human history than anyone dared imagine. Who were the true ancestors of the ancient Germans? And what secrets were buried with them, waiting to be revealed? Long before modern borders were drawn, a vast and untamed land stretched from the Rhine to the Elbe, from the Baltic shores to the dense Black Forest. It was a land feared by emperors whispered about in Roman halls and marked on ancient maps as Germania. By the first century CE, it had become a battleground between civilization and chaos. The Roman legions, armed with discipline and empire, marched east, only to be crushed in the thick woods by tribal warriors who fought like ghosts. Names like Arminius echoed through history but no one could trace where these people came from. They spoke no single language, built no unified kingdom, and left behind no written record. Yet their impact was massive. They halted Rome's expansion, reshaped the destiny of Europe, and gave rise to tribes that would one day become modern nations. Over the centuries, archaeologists uncovered thousands of burial sites scattered across northern Europe, stone-lined graves, cremation pits, ceremonial totems. Each discovery raised more questions. Why did their tools resemble those of distant nomadic peoples? How could their warrior culture emerge with such intensity, so suddenly, and in such isolation? Theories emerged. Migrations from the steppes, survivors of a Bronze Age collapse, or even descendants of the mysterious Sea Peoples. But none fit perfectly. None explained the strange anomalies found in their burial DNA, anomalies that wouldn't make sense until the day ancient genetics caught up with ancient history. It began not with a dramatic excavation, but with a forgotten box in the archives of a regional museum in Schleswig-Holstein, Germany. Inside, Wrapped in layers of brittle parchment was a single molar, yellowed, cracked, but unmistakably ancient. It had been dug up in 1991 from a burial mound, once dismissed as unremarkable, catalogued, and shelved for decades. But in 2024, a young bioarchaeologist named Dr. Lena Vogel, running a digitization project, rediscovered the tooth. Something about it didn't match the other finds. It came from a grave far older than the Germanic tribal period, dating back over 4,000 years. Intrigued, Vogel sent it for genomic sequencing, expecting routine results. What came back shocked her. The DNA wasn't just intact, it was pure, undisturbed by modern contamination, and even stranger, it contained markers never before identified in northern European samples. There were traces of steppe ancestry, yes, 
but also a completely foreign mitochondrial signature, one that matched no known population on record. It was as if the tooth had belonged to a ghost population, a tribe lost to both history and genetics. Suddenly, the map of early Europe no longer made sense. If this individual was buried centuries before the rise of the known Germanic tribes, who were they? And why did their genetic markers later reappear in warrior burials from the Roman era? Something was hiding in this ancient genome, something that could rewrite the origin story of an entire civilization. Dr. Lena Vogel wasn't alone for long. As news of the strange DNA spread, a team of international researchers formed almost overnight. Geneticists from the Max Planck Institute, historians from the University of Cambridge, and even computational linguists joined forces. They called it Project Schattenstam, Shadow Tribe. The goal, trace the genetic anomaly through time using ancient remains across Europe. But it wasn't easy. Most burial sites had been looted or degraded by time. Bones were fragile, often too damaged to extract viable DNA. And even when samples were recovered, many showed mixed ancestry, blurred lines caused by centuries of intertribal contact. The team needed something pure, isolated, untouched by Roman, Celtic, or Nordic influence. Their breakthrough came from an unlikely place, a peat bog in Denmark. Preserved in cold, oxygen-starved soil, the body of a warrior had surfaced during construction. His skin was leathery, his features still visible. Most importantly, his DNA was intact. And when analyzed, it revealed something stunning, a near-perfect match to the molar from Schleswig-Holstein. Same mitochondrial line, same autosomal markers. Two individuals, separated by nearly 1,000 years, carried the same genetic ghost. This was no coincidence. Digging deeper, the team identified burial patterns across the region that defied established timelines. Sacred symbols found in graves 2,000 years apart. Shared rituals. Identical weapons. It wasn't just DNA. They were following the trail of a hidden people who had silently passed through generations, invisible to history, yet shaping it from the shadows. The genome analysis was relentless. High-resolution sequencing mapped every strand, every mutation, every ancient anomaly. Using next-generation AI modeling, the team reconstructed lineage trees population flows, and ancient admixture events stretching back nearly 6,000 years. The results shattered established narratives. The individuals from Schleswig-Holstein and the Danish bog shared DNA with a group previously unknown to science, a distinct population that diverged from Eurasian hunter-gatherers long before Indo-European migrations began. They were not Celts, not Romans, not even early Germans as we know them. Their closest genetic cousins? A forgotten branch of Neolithic steppe tribes from the Volga region, believed to have vanished before the Bronze Age collapse. But this group hadn't vanished. They had moved west, in silence, long before recorded history, integrating into early Germanic societies from the inside out. This explained the anomalies, the warrior traditions, the sudden rise of powerful tribal elites in the first centuries BCE. These weren't spontaneous cultural blooms. They were legacies, preserved and passed down by a hidden core lineage. Even more startling, the mitochondrial DNA matched samples from elite burials in southern Sweden, suggesting the Shadow Tribe may have seeded leadership across vast distances, uniting scattered peoples under a forgotten genetic banner. The term Germanic suddenly seemed inadequate. These weren't just tribes reacting to Roman aggression. They were the descendants of an ancient network guided by deep-rooted tradition and perhaps a lost identity that predated everything we thought we knew about Europe. Imagine it. 
4,000 years ago, a small group of nomads breaks away from a crumbling society near the Volga River. Climate shifts, conflict, or perhaps a vision, something drives them west. They travel in silence across forests, rivers, and plains, avoiding contact, hiding their rituals. They settle in scattered pockets across what would become Northern Europe, not as conquerors, but as cedars of culture. Their burial practices remain the same. Their oral myths, sacred symbols, and tribal structures stay intact. Slowly, they merge with emerging local groups, hunter-gatherers, early farmers, but always maintaining a core identity passed down through blood. Over centuries, their descendants rise to prominence, forming the spiritual and political backbone of what would later be called the Germanic tribes. By the time Rome reaches the Rhine, these ancient bloodlines are deeply embedded. The warrior leaders, the ones organizing resistance against the empire, carry more than just weapons. They carry a memory. Not written, not spoken, but encoded in genes, preserved in funerary rites, and echoed in ancestral dreams. The coordinated attacks, the use of forest terrain, the unification of tribes under singular leaders, all trace back to a genetic heritage built on survival, secrecy, and endurance. When Arminius defeats the Romans in the Teutoburg Forest, it is not just a military victory. It is a moment thousands of years in the making, the resurfacing of a shadow tribe whose roots stretch back to the forgotten steppes. What we thought were scattered barbarians were in truth fragments of a single ancient design, a network of blood and memory buried beneath Europe's oldest soil. The discovery of this ancient DNA didn't just change how we see the ancient Germans. It forced historians and geneticists to reconsider the entire framework of European prehistory. For centuries, we painted history with broad strokes, migrations, invasions, collapses. But hidden beneath those narratives was a quieter, more complex truth, a lineage that survived not through conquest, but through adaptation, ritual, and selective integration. The so-called barbarians were not a chaotic force reacting to Rome, but rather the echo of something much older, something methodical, deliberate, and deeply rooted in the human story. Today, the descendants of this shadow tribe walk among us. Their blood runs through millions of Europeans, and yet, their true name, their language, their myths are gone. All that remains are symbols in grave goods, genetic signatures in ancient teeth, and the haunting silence of a people who chose invisibility over extinction. This isn't just archaeology, it's memory, encoded in bone and soil. So next time you hear of Germanic tribes, of warriors in the woods and empires at war, remember, History isn't always written by the victors. Sometimes it's whispered through generations, hidden in DNA, waiting millennia to be heard. If this story fascinated you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and dive deeper into the mysteries of our ancient past. There are still countless secrets buried just beneath the surface.